A story of a fellow who waited 2,044 days for this on one of the game's most historic layouts. First, let's give you the Pebble Beach final round in front of the seafaring creatures. Monterey Peninsula. Here's Phil Mickelson, par 3 7. Set himself up for birdie, but he was grinded. He was still four shots back. Nice shot, huh? Has not won since 2013. Ted Potter Jr. and Dustin Johnson here tied for the lead by the fifth hole, and DJ did not like this at all. Way right at the par three hole. Unplayable lie, a bogey gave Potter the outright lead. Couple of groups ahead was Chez Reeve. Look at this at the eighth hole. Just lost at a playoff last weekend, and what a response. Five birdies on the front nine. And check Potter at the seventh. Knocked home a chip shot. Good for a two shot lead over Johnson. And then Potter went Again. on a par barrage good, good, at 12. Good, good, good. Little well, tester, he but he handled it. Yeah, he's got a Meantime, in. Mickelson tried to make it happen at 17. Rolled in his second straight birdie. Got to within three shots of Potter, but no closer for the four time champ. Potter broke his ankle, missed cuts in his career. Had not won in five years, but did not blink. His third shot at 18 was butter. Missed the birdie ten. putt, but the three-shot win was a okay for the 34-year-old Florida native who was Pebble Beach Pro-Am champion and Dennis O'Donnell, you know, was there. Thank you, Vern. Ted Potter Jr., great story. Last one in 2012, then he broke his ankle, lost his tour card, web.com tour, and he wins today the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. It's definitely uh, pleasing. I mean, there was a, a struggle there. I mean, when you break your ankle and you don't know what's going to happen with your golf swing or, or career that way, um, to come back from that, and <laughs> it's just unbelievable right now. Ted Potter Jr., 2018 AT&T Pro-Am champion. We'll hear from Steve Young tonight on game day, a complete wrap from Pebble Beach. Reporting from the Monterey Peninsula, Dennis O'Donnell, Vern, back to you.